Hello everybody, this is Jackals here from Sick Dimension and today I'm bringing you a video of my Rube Goldberg which the goal of it all is to eat and I'll be eating a triple meat treat and but I will have to create it first so it starts with a pretty pointless train track ride which goes all the way up this tree for no reason but at some point I will be riding it as well so I think that's part of why I did it um, but the first track will come oh, the first track will come along here and then we'll turn left here and get launched all the way over here and we'll land on top of this spawner here which I'll get to later we'll fall down here and we'll end up landing on this pressure pr plate right here which will trigger these three deployers which will release three high voltage solar panels uh, which will power this MFSU and that will power this logger here which will cut down this tree and then that wood will be transported along to this electric furnace here which will create charcoal uh, this electro electric furnace is powered by these two deployers here which will deploy another two high voltage solar panels and so once that's done the charcoal will go into these two steam engines here which will activate this quarry when this quarry is activated dirt will go through these pipes when the dirt goes through these pipes it will land on this second set of pressure plates here and this is where it starts getting a lot c complicated because there will be a lot of things going on at once the first thing that it will do is activate this uh, mechanism here which has a load of block breakers which will break some sugar cane uh, and I've just done it loads of times just to make sure that I've got enough and all that sugar cane will eventually get down to this automatic crafting table which will craft it into some sugar and that sugar will then come on through into this automatic crafting table which is where the triple meat treat will be made the other three things that are needed is a beef, pork and chicken nugget and I'll be going through how I make those next uh, because you will also see that I've got these transmitters here now the first four are used, I think, no, sorry, the first three are used so that the, these things here are block breakers and so when that's activated these redstone torches will disappear or go above the block bre breaker and so that will turn off the transmitter and now I've got three spawners here the first one is a tier 5 cow spawner and all I've done is got a transmitter there that when it turns off the uh, spawner will start spawning cows uh, I've then done the exact same thing for pigs and the same thing for chickens because they're going to be our source of our nuggets now they will all go and fall down to the bottom the cow and the pigs will both die when they hit the bottom and then they will then have their food transmitted into this chest here i will go out of this chest and then any leather from the cows will go into this chest and the rest will go the beef, uh, raw beef will go into this uh, infernal furnace because the way that uh, you make a beef nugget or the pork and a chicken nugget is there's a certain chance that when a raw uh, meat is cooked it will produce a nugget as well as the meat and so I've done this process for both the for uh, the cow spawner and the pig spawner I've also done it for the chicken spawner and the feathers will get processed into here so that they don't get cooked uh, but the chicken gave me quite a bit of difficulty 
because chickens don't take full damage. So I completely forgot about that first and just created it. I was hoping they would fall down. But then I realised that the best way of getting them to die is by shooting them. Oh, and there's an escaped one there. Uh, you, so I've got a load of dispensers set up with arrows inside them. And all those arrows get shot out when this uh, trans uh, this receiver loses signal. It will turn this timer on and that will do all the dispensers on this side. And I've got the exact same thing happening on the other side so that it's quite a fast way of them dying. But I thought, I'd bet, because I'm already making a fairly automated process, I thought I'd need to have a way of making sure that the arrows never run out as well. So, I also decided to create this skeleton spawner here with a tier 5 skeleton spawner, so that when, they, uh, when the uh, receiver isn't receiving any redstone signal anymore, the skeletons will start spawning full to their death and if we go to the bottom here it all goes through to here I've then got the bones being put into this chest oh there's already some in there get rid of those there are bones in there and the arrows will continue through and I'll show you that they'll be going all, all the arrows will be picking their dispensers so I've got a load of gold pipes all underneath which is showing them where to go and so all three of these will then produce their uh, their meat but hopefully will produce quite a bit of nuggets as well so I've got it when it because with an inferno furnace it just pops it out the front so I've got obsidian pipes pulling it in and for each one it's going into chests and then I've got a chest here to filter out each of the corresponding food items so that only the nuggets can go through into the automatic crafting table where the triple meat treat will finally be able to be made because all four ingredients will be there and now the triple meat treat comes out the top here goes along here and gets shot into this portal and this portal takes it all the way up where is it? above me here and the will get shot out of here and this uh, golem will put it into this chest but then there will be the problem of me getting up to the chest um, so that's why here there is a fifth one which is deploying a redstone torch which will give this uh, transmitter a redstone signal which uh, which is where this second part of the track up here comes in because this part of the track will then be switched by this switch motor so that when the cart next comes along it will go forward uh, go forward rather than turning left and I will get launched from this track over to that uh, landing there and will hopefully be able to eat my uh, pork pork a triple meat treat and there is also one more receiver here because there's going to be one cart sent off at the beginning but there's also going to be a second cart for me to get into at a later point which will be released by this switch motor when this loses signal and so when I'm ready to get in the cart there will already be another one here so we're just going to switch this and show you how it's done so here goes the cart on its long journey I'll eventually make it. I'm not sure why. I I was hoping to get a large tree. I didn't realise that twilight trees were so big. And so I just kind of created it. Uh, so that's why it is, does go so high. I wasn't really planning it in the first place. But here the cart now goes up here. Gets launched over to the chicken spawner. And then it goes down that elevator there along here and gets launched and lands on there. Now you can see all the solar panels have been deployed. This uh, MFSU is now on. So this logger should now start cutting down this tree which it is. And so you can see the wood here now going through into this furnace. Hopefully. Uh, there you go. And there's the charcoal coming out of it now. 
it's chosen this steam engine here so when it goes into the steam engine that should start running hopefully there you go the quarry is just starting up now I've already got the frame ready because that would have taken quite a while and so here the quarry there you go the dirt's been produced and so this dirt will be pushed all the way along this pipe and so we're just going to wait for one to land there there you go it's landed all these torches are gone that one's started and now you can see that oh look there it is all the sugar canes coming out and that will all be going through see and then there's your sugar just coming out the pipe there now we get a little laggy here because there's a lot of arrows being shot but here's the chicken meat coming through here's all the chicken meat going through and on oh and then here's all the pig meat hopefully is it coming through and it come from, I've always had problems, this pig one seems to be the slowest one the uh, transposers don't seem to work all the time but I should get some at some point I'll show you the, here's the beef one working get all the raw beef coming through and the liver that's, that's all being transported off though uh, here's some pork, there we go all the pork's coming through and now all this is getting thrown in uh, you'll see there's experience being made because it's all being cooked and here's your cooked meat it's quite difficult to see the nuggets because it does get put in with meat but you should be able to see some of the nuggets hopefully come through after the meat's been transported through and look, you can see there's pork nuggets now in this chest and all the sugar canes come through and I'm not sure if we've had a, a triple meat, ah there you go, there's a triple meat tree that's just been made and that will now go along this pipe and we'll just watch it go through this portal here hopefully it will come through in a second I haven't seen it yet here it is and through the portal it goes, so now you can see that this minecart's now, oh it's gone a bit too far um, just push that back a little bit. Hopefully this will start. Oh, can I get in? Um, can't seem to get in. Oh, right there we go. There we go. Now we're on our way, and now we're going back on the track that was made previously for the start. And this is how it's all going to end. So we can go up the elevator track here, get a nice view of everything. I'll just put some world anchors on the top just to make sure that they're always spawning stuff. And now that we're at the top, this switchable track's now been switched, so I'm now going along this part. That was done automatically, and now I'm being jumped over to this platform here. And here I am, triple meat treats, been picked up by my very handy fast wooden golem and now I can switch over to survival mode uh, there we go and now I can eat my triple meat treat that has been made for me and I'm getting a nice bit of regeneration with it and so that is my Rube Goldberg of me trying to get a nice meal to eat with a triple meat treat thanks for watching and um, I hope that I get into the Infinity server, so I'll speak to you later, goodbye.